worst things students said, according to Reddit. Number 14. As a sixth grade teacher, I was approached by a girl that asked me if I got morning wood. I freaked out. Six grande girl, grande. I bet you that's what this teacher got in the pants when that girl asked him. Pervert. All my teachers is nasty as hell, man. Just by the end of the year, half the teachers left because you already know. Police show up, find stuff on a hard drive every single year. The worst part was she brought her five little friends to my desk to ask a question. I looked her in the eye and said, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Thank God the bell rang and the class was over. How humility for her and me. How humility for... Oh my God. Look, man, this gonna be a quick one. I'm waiting on a text from this dude I know named Billy. You know, he's straight, but... But I'm trying to, I'm trying to turn him. I'm working on it. You know what I mean? I'm going to get this dude. Just wait. Wait, just wait for it. Number 12. During an English class that I went off book to explain stuff about the universe, I got all excited and enthusiastic about, and I, and I could see my students, like, blow their minds. And I could see my students blow their minds. Oh my god, teachers suck, man. Jesus Christ. Except for this one girl. She interrupted me and was like, Teacher, could you please go back to the textbook? Please? Okay. And this was the worst thing that a student said to you? Gee, man. You, you, you ever just end up in class and wonder if this teacher has ever gotten pussy in his entire life? Or at least some b-hole? Gay ass Jesus, man. We gotta do we gotta learn what what it what do we have to learn by these dudes? Can I tell you ch check this out? Check this out. Half the dudes in my class wanna be girls now. So some of us just decided to start wearing wigs. Cause what are they gonna do? Tell us to take it off. That's who we say that's a, that's who we are. That's how we identify shit. And we tell them that they don't we don't want our dinglings even mentioned, man. Because that's not how we see ourselves when we wake up. We believe. <laughs> we believe. We, we can be what we believe we can be. Jesus. Does that blow your mind? <laughs> Number 11. Not me, but my wife. First greeter asked if she was going to finish her lunch because he wanted to take it home with him. So that he'd have something to eat that night. <laughs> I used to tell teachers stuff like this just so they would they would give me stuff. I got some gift cards for Starbucks and stuff like this. Uh, I haven't eaten in four days. My wife's lunches are now twice the size just for this reason. Oh my God, y'all some suckers, baby. Y'all y'all hitting that Hong Kong energy. You know what I'm talking about? Oh my God, with the Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong. Oh my god. Number nine. That it was pointless for them to do any work because people like them never did anything good with their lives anyway. And they were never going to be able to achieve anything good. Well, you know, sometimes that's the truth. Maybe it's not the most positive outlook, you know. Some people will, will make other people's days with their mouths. I'm still waiting on this text from Billy, punk ass. I'm probably just gonna buy him a video game, man. Boys like video games, and then he'll be all like, oh yeah, why don't you come over and pray? And I'll be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna come over, all right? I'm gonna come all over it. Number eight, all right? A student told me that they were being molested by their dad. Lucky, I'm kidding, whoa. I mean, that's messed up, man, you know? And <sighs> I'm sorry that that happened because some people don't want that, you know? I mean, most people, most people do not want that. It's fucked up. Why does this post look sarcastic? Am I the only one who thinks that? Such a tragedy, space, space, space. 
backslash. Someone says, I thought this was some sort of dark pun. A dark pun. <laughs> what does it mean? Dark puns. This is a tragedy. Does it sound more like a pun when I read it like that? Number seven. Got to get out of here before my brain cells. Worst? Well, I briefly was an adjunct at a law school teaching some basics of estate planning. And a student told me that they didn't care. Wow, what a badass. I worked so hard to try and be engaging, to be honest and novel in my approach. And just seeing that student's blank face as they scrolled along on the internet while I was trying to teach was pretty depressing. But I had Greg, my boyfriend, who was the sweetest, and then I got engaged to him, elderly guy that I've ever met. So Greg even shit out for me. I don't even want to know what it means. You know, sometimes I want to make fun of these things and it's like, they do it for me. They did it themselves. How can I top them? I can't. You can't do it. Try to top them. You can't do it. Number six. Not me, but my principal. Fuck you, you racist piece of clan robe wearing piece of shit. Wait, the principal said this or somebody said it to the principal? My principal is the nicest, mildest man you could possibly imagine. He's the complete opposite of a racist piece of shit. Man, y'all don't know what people do in they spare time. I'm pretty sure half the teachers I've had are, are closet clansmen or police officers, maybe even both. Jesus Christ. Number five, I'm not a teacher, but at a graduation at 16 years old, I witnessed one of the boys going up to a teacher that he'd always been a little shit to. She had a reputation as a harsh teacher, but I'm not sure if I think that now 10 years later. Open his arms, ask them for a hug, as it was the graduation day, and I swear the teacher was nearly in tears because the moment was so sweet. And when she went in for the hug, he just goes, Psych! You really thought, bitch? Oh, he sh she should have dabbed on that ass. The look on her face was heartbreaking. I'm playing the tiniest violin right now. And if I don't get these nudes from Billy, I'm mad, man. We gotta make it, you, you gotta make it seem hetero, though, you know, no homo. Hey, man. Let me see your body and tell me what, you know, your workouts are. It's not gay. It's not gay. You know, we need to tell me how, tell me how you like to be slurped. But, but, you know, so, so I can, so I can get that better from girls. Cause that's what I'm definitely into. Number four, I'm a student, but this is what I heard one time. A girl asking the bio teacher, how many miscarriages will it take for you to get to the zero center? Of the, for you, how many? How many? Whoa! Wow! <laughs> this is pretty fucked up right here. How many miscarriages will it take before you finally have a baby? <laughs> Damn. See, I like to be subtly, you know, messed up. <laughs> Maybe make them think about it later. <laughs> but this is just fucking ice cold, son. So I heard you had some miscarriages. What's that on the bed? Is something wrong with you? Wow, man, it's too direct. She had two miscarriages. It was just cruel, you know, god damn. You know, I used to come in uh, pudding, you know, vanilla pudding, and then I would just mix it up and see if somebody would be all like, hey, butter slice, can I have, can I have some of your pudding? And I'd be like, well, well, it's your lucky day, you can. I will even feed it to you. But, you know, I'm not walking up to people going, ah, but fuck it, how about the miscarriages? Jesus Christ, man. Number three. You know, I don't know if it was the worst thing that was ever said, but it was definitely the scariest. A quick aside, after a few months, one of the classmates, his classmates, asked me if I knew why they call him Bucket. Then she whispers in my ear, he had to stand on a bucket to fuck a cow. Wow. Anyway, he was really a big fucker with serious attitude. 
One day I had to send him to the office and he was being way too disruptive, so I had no choice. He walks up to me, puts his big beefy fist in my face and says, I ought to kick your ass. I look back blankly and gesture to the door and he hollers out in a booming voice, Dude, I am going to freaking kill you. Two days later, he was arrested for doing a drive-by on the sheriff's house. Jesus Christ, get this guy some fucking therapy. You driving by the sheriff's house popping off, what the hell? Putting a bucket down to fuck a cow, you think something wrong with this bitch? I mean, it, like coming in some vanilla pudding and then people asking you if they if they can have some is one thing, but you putting, you gotta stand on a bucket to fuck an animal? <laughs> <laughs> Number two, I had a student write me that they hoped that I get the bird flu and die. But before I die, did I infect my entire family and then watch them die and then die knowing that I was the one that killed them? Wow, respect, man. You know, I play a lot of Xbox Live and I, I'm not sure I've ever heard something this fucking crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh boy, wow. Shouldn't have gave me a B minus, Mrs. Bitch. <laughs> Number one, alright. That she always actively tried to get pregnant with her 20 something year old boyfriend. Oh my god. Same. Oh god. That her parents liked him and wanted her to get pregnant because he had a good job. She wanted a baby to love? I was subbing in a 7th grade class. I had to make a few CPS calls for that. Mm, yeah, they roll in and they all like, wait a minute. That's a goddamn minor. Give me them hard drives. K Kyle gave me about $10 for this list. So, you know, he better not have gotten too much more than that. Because I'm a neater, bigger cut. I hope that you enjoyed this and that this was a, a realistic way to spend your time and that this was somehow productive in what you call your life. All I know is I'm probably going to get some news because I know how to go about it and I hope that you have a plan that is as realistic and what's the word like successful as mine. That's what I want people to put on my name as Butter Slice is straight success. So. You already know in the future, you know, the penises flop and I go straight to the top. The penises flop and I go straight to the top. Keep it 100. 